Hey guys, welcome to part one of our Microsoft Teams series. Today, we're going to be talking about the difference between chats and channels. So let's get started. basically like text messaging with your friends. You could have one person that you're chatting, you could have multiple people and it'd be like a group chat. Um, so you can use a chat basically a simple conversation with your team. You can also see all the files that you send in chats and add different apps to a chat. Now, a channel is a little bit more complicated because you wanna consider this a hub for your teams. So let's say you wanted to make a channel for your marketing team and your sales team, and each one of those places, you would have different members according to that team. And you can also incorporate OneDrive and SharePoint and even OneNote to these channels to where you basically have a central hub for all of the information, data, content, all of that for that team. This is incredibly helpful for any company. Now let's dive in to see visually the difference between a chat and a channel. So here's what a chat looks like inside Microsoft Teams. It basically looks like a text message conversation between you and multiple people or just one other person. In this case, it's multiple people in this chat and you can tell by looking up at the top left of the chat. You can add files, you can even add different applications here and this can be super helpful with staying connected with your team across platforms like PowerPoint, Word, OneNote, Trello, and more. You can also start a video call or voice chat through your chat um, and it will invite immediately everyone inside that chat. So if I pressed this button, it would contact everyone inside this chat and video call them to make one big meeting start up. If you would like to add somebody to a chat, you can go up to the top right corner, click on this and click add people. You can also leave if you would like to no longer be a part of that chat. Now, as far as this bottom section of different things that you can use in a chat, you can customize this to your liking and add more um, message extensions if you would like. But as far as what I have here, it's just good to know that you can use emojis, you can add attachments, and you can also schedule a meeting from this little section down here. So this is super cool. If you have texted somebody before, you most likely know how to use this. It's pretty straightforward. So these are what Teams channels looks like. You can create multiple Teams channels and add whoever you would like to it. You want to think of this general space of a Teams channel to be like a bulletin board where you can put different conversations up and people can respond if they would like to. So for example, you would create a new conversation if you want to bring up a new topic or if you would like to respond to somebody, you can click reply and reply to their specific um, conversation that they have already started. A lot of people try to use Teams channels as a chat. So they'll start a new conversation but respond to the person's conversation above. This gets really confusing with your team and honestly makes it not useful. So just consider this a hub to where you can check of any notifications or announcements for that specific team channel. You can also, just like you could do in your chats, you could see all the files here that you've added in. You can also add different OneDrive folders or maybe even projects or channel calendars, which is super cool as well, or PowerPoints, anything like that you can add into the channel itself. This is a great way to keep all of your team's information in one spot. All you have to do is go to this channel and you'll see what your team is working on at one glance. This is super helpful and very efficient for any business. Now, you manage a team's channel by clicking on the three dots to the side of your channel and choosing manage team. This will bring up the option to change 
your settings and what people can and can't do in a channel. I would highly recommend diving into this and making sure that all of your settings are how it's supposed to be and how you want it before adding people as members. I hope this was a good first look for you guys into the difference between chats and channels. I'll also link above our videos that we've previously had on this topic and our videos where we dive more into channels and what they can and can't do. Thank you guys so much for watching this first video of Microsoft Teams features. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that button to stay notified anytime we upload a new video. Bye guys. Thank you.